Hi, I'm James, and in this video I'm taking a look at how to install Windows 11 as an upgrade onto an unsupported PC. So if we run the PC health check on this system, we should see that hitting check now, we have not got TPM 2.0, this is disabled in our BIOS, and our processor, a Core i5 7500, is unsupported. Now, what we need to do is close that, and we are going to download Windows 11 using the Windows 11 installation media tool. So we would download that and run. And we're using this just to make sure we get the right language. Um, so if we have the incorrect language of ISO, we can't keep our apps. Uh, we, can only, or we can only keep files. Um, so it took a bit of experimentation. This is the best way just to make sure you get the right language file. So you can see here it's detected I'm in a UK English install. And then we want to create the ISO file here. Now as it is, I've already downloaded that. What we then have to do is do the same with the Windows 10 tool. I will put both the links for these in the description. So we're going to download that and run. And we reduce this to Got to wait for the uh, Windows 11 one to quit first. So by running the Windows 10 tool in the same way, we can then fetch the ISO uh, for Windows 10. And basically what we're going to do is use the Windows 10 installer to carry out a Windows 11 upgrade. Uh, it sounds a little odd, but basically the issue is the Windows 11 installer um, will check whether you have a compatible PC the Windows 10 one won't, but they both take the same install files. Uh, so we can basically use the Windows 10 process to upgrade to Windows 11. Of course, this may then be something you have to do every time there is a major update of Windows 11. Obviously, this is going to be an unsupported install. But what we would say here is create install media. Again, we are going to use the version recommended for this PC, and we would be saving the ISO file. Now, as it is, I already have both ISOs on my desktop. So we have our Windows 10 ISO here, and we are going to use 7-zip, which I have installed to extract this. Uh, you can extract it through File Explorer. However, doing it this way is just going to save me a little bit of time. And what we want to do is open up this Windows folder and go into Sources. And in here, once this is finished extracting, so we want to find our install file, which will either be called install esd or install.wim. So we are going to delete that install file, and we're then going to just mount the Windows 11 uh, ISO. So we don't actually need to extract this one. We're going to go into sources, and we are going to copy across that ESD file into the Windows 10 installer. Again, we're just going to wait for that to finish copying. With that done, we're going to run the setup and it is going to tell us that we are setting up Windows 10. We are not, however, we are being sneaky. We're going to tell it not to check for updates because we don't want it injecting bits of Windows 10 installer or files into our Windows 11 install. And we're going to check the PC. Now, if we were running the Windows 11 setup, this would, is where it would tell us, no, you can't install this. You do not meet the requirements. But as we are not, we get to accept our Windows 10 setup. It makes sure we are ready to install.
Obviously, this will work with whatever language. Just make sure that the ISO that you download for Windows 11 matches your Windows 10 install. And using that media creation tool is the best way to make sure that you have the right ISO image. If you don't, you won't be able to keep apps, only personal files. So we are here, we are ready. We are going to say install. And this will tell us that we're installing Windows 10. Now this is going to keep, take a while, so I'm going to keep the recording running, but fast forward things through to the end. Uh, this is running through a capture card, so we can capture the whole process through BIOS and uh, the outside of Windows install as well. So having run through the install, we can see even though it said we were getting the Windows 10 install, we are now progressing through into the out-of-box experience for Windows 11. And so we are now presented with Windows 11, we can see that our installed applications and files on the desktop are still present. And if we go into the settings app, we can see that in about, our system is the Core i5-7500, which is a unsupported processor. We are running Windows 11 Pro 21H2 and the launch build. And if we check BitLocker, we have no option to enable BitLocker because we have no TPM. So this, we cannot use BitLocker because we do not use have a TPM present. So um, while when I first tested this morning, I uh, was unable to get Windows 11 to install um, on an unsupported system, using this method, it is possible. Um, I have tried it previously and these updates all download and install but it is entirely possible that when feature updates start to come for future versions of Windows 11, you may have to repeat this method or possibly find an alternative way of getting it updated. I hope you found this video helpful. Do let me know in the comments if it's worked for you or if you have another method, just let me know and I'll try it out. Hit subscribe if you wanna see more videos as we post them and let us know what else you'd like to see us testing as well. Thanks for watching.